What's up guys, William Kelly here back bringing some educational videos to you, the viewer. Got the beard going. It's been a while since I've posted a video, so hopefully this helps you guys out. And uh, if you like what you see, smash the like button, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys next time. Enjoy the video. Okay guys, so uh, first thing you're going to want to do is pull up a new window. And before I start this video, I am a real estate investor and for me I wanted to instead of go out and purchase a software that had a number or going out through AT&T and buying a new phone number or vice versa I wanted something that I was able to use for free and that's very reliable and I found Google Voice to be extremely professional as long as it's set up properly which initially my setup was not proper. When people would call my Google Voice number, it would actually tell them that it was a Google Voice number and to tell them to state their name, which I didn't want. That's very unprofessional. And the other biggest obstacle that I ran into was I had my Google Voice number forwarded to my personal cell phone number and I could not differentiate what was a personal call or what was a business call and I figured out how to do it and I'm going to share that information with you guys today so hopefully this helps so stay along with me um, if I'm going too fast go back rewind the video and um, hopefully you guys benefit from this so let's start and first thing you want to do is pull up a new window and go to Google Voice and so we'll go to the first one I am actually already logged in here so it automatically pulls up my Google Voice number if you guys are not logged in through Google it will actually prompt you for your credentials to log in with your email and password but I'm already logged in and when I initially asked around how to properly set this up people would tell me to go in here to the settings and I was looking for so long to figure out how to do this, but I figured out it is not through this version. So we actually have to go to main menu and go back to the old version of Google Voice. So we will click on legacy Google Voice. And from here, if you get this notification, just X out on it. And we want to go to our settings tab and here is it should show your Google voice number right here I do not have it forwarding to my phone calls I'm doing this to show you guys how to initially set it up properly so I'm going to add a phone number and this is your Google voice we're gonna come down and to link numbers and click on the plus sign with the new link number type in your phone number or whatever number you want the Google Voice number to ring and it will send you a code through text message and it's very quickly um, so the code already came in for me and you just want to type in the code that you get from your text message and click verify now the phone has been added click finish and what we want to do is click X and we want to go back to our legacy version now once we have done that again click out on this notification or click no thanks I guess uh, settings now you can see that we have added our phone number that we want our Google voice number to ring when we receive a phone call so now that this is all set up we want to go to calls and you want to turn call screening off what this will do if it is on once you get a lead or you have a client that calls you it will say this is a Google voice number please state your name so we can connect you with the other end user we don't want that we want when somebody calls our Google voice number we want it to ring as if it was a true professional cell phone number so we want to make sure this thing is off now caller ID incoming what this will do 
I have it set up to display my Google Voice number. This is absolutely important because this differentiates a business call between a personal call when my phone rings. Now I know the difference. Before I had no idea who was calling, if it was my family member or a cousin that I haven't saved their number from or a friend. Now I know that this number is work because it'll actually call my caller ID number, which is this. So it's gonna, when I get a phone call, it's actually just gonna show this for, for right now which is good because I know every call that comes in is is either work or personal. So we wanna make sure that shows the display, my Google voice number. Kind of a, a quick tip to um, finish this off. So now that we have our phone set up to where when the Google voice number calls, it will actually show that your Google voice number, kind of a quick a uh, little tip is if you actually go to your personal cell phone number and pull up pull up your phone and go your go to contacts and actually add a new contact and what you want to do is you can name it business you can name it work I named it motivated seller because I market to off market real estate deals so when I have an incoming call I know that it's a motivated seller so I actually named it motivated seller and then I added the phone number which was just my Google voice number and so we type that in and every time my phone rings it will now say my, my Google voice number rings it will now say motivated seller so I know that it's work purposes um, so hopefully this video helped you guys out in your business whether you're starting a business entrepreneurship whatever you're doing in your realm hopefully this video helps you guys out and um, if if it did smash the like button leave a comment and we'll see you guys next time